Welcome back. This episode starts with us installing a Chinese virus because why not? Then we just go and level up my luminous because obviously we need to be highest level possible in order to do the highest level quest possible. So it's going to be a big journey. Anyway, let's go to sleep because if you've seen how I look, you know I need my beauty sleep. After that, just logged on, got the Pathfinder quest done. Then use the events to level up. It's a great event. You get crazy EXP, like at le around level 200. The more, the higher you go, the, obviously the less you get from it. And I didn't have any potions, so I had to use some random potions I had in my inventory. But it was fine. I was I was there until level 204. And as you know me, I'm not a quitter. So I went and did Monster Park because why not? I needed to level up. And obviously, as I'm a quitter. I left at level 205. Then it was back to Luminous to level it up. And as you ordered, I did Monster Park 7 times. I didn't know it only cost 3.5 million. Then I went and actually did the Arcane River quest as usual. You know, the daily stuff, you just go kill. Decreasing amounts. I didn't even know that the more you open up, the less you have to do. Meaning the more islands you have opened up, you have to do less and less and less. Down to only 200 for each island. Obviously the higher islands you can't just yet have like, so it's like 600, 400, then you have 200, 200, 200. I don't know if the more I unlock, then the Esfera is gonna go down to 400 and then 200. I guess we'll find this out. After that, we did a quick and very short stream. You know, don't need to over go overboard. After that, it was back to farming because you need to level up. Again, same thing about quests and stuff like that. So I just farmed like crazy. I don't really care about farming, so just in front of your eyes, boom. Psst. Hey you. Hey. It's me. You guessed it, it was time for some food. So I obviously made my favorite dish, the salmon fish, using wine and some good stuff. And I have some comment from my previous video which said not to use the cutting board. So this one is for you, just so you can enjoy and appreciate. And this time it turned out, it was expired. So I had to order it fully. It was a piece of, you know. It then back to farming again, leveling up. It's a quite a decent map for Luminous. You can just basically go right and left, but then you sometimes have to go up and down just to clear the other crap. Then we were past midnight, so we can actually go again and do Monster Park the same day. So we get the Monster Park in the afternoon and then Monster Park at midnight for more EXP closeness, I should say. By then it was so late, it was actually early and the sun <laughs> was rising. So yeah, woke up, had some breakfast. It was time again to level up. 242 then got got hungry so i just reheat what i ordered yesterday on the stream and ate it, it was quite delicious then i felt the urge to level up my pathfinder 210 but then i said i don't want to waste all my potions so i just leveled it to 205 for the following days i was at work so i didn't have any time i just did dailies and that's basically it when i had some time i saw that the potions were about to expire so i just used them all to level up the Fathom to 210. I then did the same basically to all my characters, just wanted to level them up to the basic link skill levels. So I leveled the Phantom, as you can see, in the Ruids, then Birds as usual, and we ended up at level 121. I then made a Kali, and I have to say, choosing the name was a nightmare. I didn't know what to say, I just started run, so just typing random stuff until I actually got it. And I'm gonna save the whole... Oh look, I went to the same places all over again. Just, <laughs> I went to fight, you know, the usual stuff. I did the event from level 10 to 100. And the moment I reached level 100, I just came here to the birds and just stayed there. Because I didn't have the, the teleport truck, so I didn't want to just spend time walking around. So I just stayed here until I could fight the flying skirts and I just went here. Money was interesting to get, I just sold some random stuff I got to have just enough and I finished at level 120. It was then time again to level up as much as possible and I stayed at the Manta Rays for I don't know like 20 hours maybe 24 hours like overall across a few sessions of playing but I think it was about 20 
24, maybe a bit less than 20, I don't wanna exaggerate, but anyway, I just stayed there because we need to reach the highest level possible and I actually saw that they're releasing in November a new update that lets you go to a place that is level 290. So I'm gonna have to farm even more. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, I just stayed here for quite a long time, just so you know. I then just level up to level 248. And the following days we just filled again with just dailies, bossing, random stuff like that. And today I actually got level 251. Finally over level 250. And that's it. Finished. Now, before you go, I have something to say or to more clarify. The more I actually do this kind of series, both of them, the great return and the streaming, the more I realize they depend on each other. Because I can't go and level up at higher places before I do the quest for them on the stream. And the opposite, I can't do the higher level quests if I don't actually get the stuff, the levels and the equipment for that. So I still need to figure out how I would like to, uh, how do I balance them, like what do I do when and what. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, thank you. And keep it safe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.